Mizashi is going to thrill us now with his lovely DIY projects. Right now, we are going to make a clock we out are. of something that you might not have thought of ever using for a clock project. So first, maybe we'll let's show them the oh, after. Absolutely. Let's show them your gorgeous work oh, that thank you, what Tracy. you did on the weekend. You did yesterday. I did actually. I was still Beautiful. working on it yesterday. Really simple to do though. We use cardboard to fashion this. This is actually um, a version of the very famous mid-century George Nelson clock. Okay. Of course, that's very expensive, and it's made of molded plywood and beechwood. So we did this with very simple corrugated cardboard, which you can get at the packing store for like twenty dollars for this huge roll that I have here in front of you. For this whole thing. This huge roll. So this is I'm incredible. What are you going to do with the leftovers? <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to wrap up all my <laughs> holiday stuff after the Halloween, right? So I've that's got true, lots of it actually. to do it with, Good or make storage. a bunch more clocks. So. All right, so how do we start? Okay, so really simple, and this is a great project you can do with the kids because it's really safe to do. Okay. So what you're gonna do is to make this corrugated sunflower sort of shape, and it all folds out, is you're going to, of course, start with this, and yeah. you're gonna cut a strip of it that is 100 centimeters long. And that's probably what this that's is. That's the full length, yep, and you can actually unfold that one if you like. Okay. So it's very long, and um, then you're going to cut that strip into five centimeter wide strips. So it's gonna be 100 long, five centimeters with the width. Okay. And then you're gonna fold it in half. Like so this. So you fold it in half very simply, and we're gonna staple about two centimeters from each end in with our trusty stapler. Now, of course, but I'm not measuring. But you also put the black, um, the black paper yes. on the inside, right? I did that so for a little bit that? extra structural rigidity. That's and just, it also yeah. looks chic. It's gonna shape a little bit better, and it does. It looks good. It almost it shadows really it, right? It looks really classy on the wall. Shadow. I love the black, so a spot of black anywhere is always chic. Okay. So once we staple both ends. That's what I always say. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true, though. In every room, you know why? It draws the eye in. It really does. It really does. <laughs> 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 oh my god, craziness, craziness. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, so, so we stable both sides. Yes. So once you've done that, then we're going to go 20 centimeters in. Now, this is where we have to pay attention because we've got to go from the folded end 20 centimeters in, which I've already kind of marked There's out. There's math for you. involved with this project. There is, there is. That's the only thing I hate about it because I hate math. But, but it's all doable. It totally is. Yeah. And working with centimeters is so easy, right? Yeah. Really simple. Okay, so now we've got our staples here and yes. here and here. And now we can sort of unfold and you can sort of see we've got kind of this ah. cool shape sort of taking on. So and are we doing this done. on both sides? On both sides, not down here because this side we want a little bit bigger. But got that's it. done, that strip is done. You're going to do 15 of them. Okay. So once you have all 15 made, you're going to staple them in a row to each other. So you just line up the longest part on this end. And I didn't have to measure again because my stapler has a nice logo in the middle, so I just used that to line up the logo with the staple that was there oh, previously. That's smart. It keeps it really easy. So otherwise, you have to take a pencil and measure so that it all lines up properly. Okay. But this works really well. So, so staple that baby there. Staple that there. And then you're going to do this side as well. Absolutely. And wait till you see how it looks. It looks like a little accordion. By the way, we're putting all the instructions for this on our website. That's cityline.ca. Uh, and you can find his whole clock project. But Absolutely. look at this. Ooh, is that chic? I love that. It's like magic. So That's really so simple. easy, though. Absolutely. And after you've done that, yeah. basically attaching it is just once the fit, I think we have one more to sort of put in, but okay. it's going to fold out all completely around, staple it together, and then you're done with the sunflower part. Okay. So then we can do our clock, which is really cool. So if you've got a pizza box at home, you mm -hmm. can just kind of use the round thing that comes with the pizza, or you can cut a fresh piece of cardboard. That is smart. I bought this at Curry's, but you know, it's upcycling to the extreme, right? We've got all this cardboard everywhere. Let's use it. Right. So again, I've taken the black construction paper and yeah. I just kind of covered the smaller piece which is going to be our clock face because I like the black I think it looks nice and this is my other tip when you're doing a clock face mm -hmm. is um, we did this kind of chalkboard look on there but chalk gets really dusty right and then right. it kind of smudges out this is a china marker when you get a coffee in the morning and they write double double on it yeah yeah it's really nice it looks like chalk but it does not smudge oh, okay so that's draw a good on tip 12. or if you want to get real fancy you can go and buy the little numbers and stick them you on can, right you can they actually come with the clock kit that we're going to oh, use oh look at that so but you can actually like get those. that you didn't want it no. you didn't want to use that. Yeah. Well, you don't have to. Okay. <laughs> you can just put it on with the. With the I think it's way more chic to just kind of draw it in and stuff like that. But you okay. can certainly use those as well. So yeah, there's a vibe you're going well. for though. There's now. a total you vibe. Like that. You could do this in like Roman numerals as well, mm -hmm. which also looks very, very awesome. So Fancy. again, you just put your numbers in. You put in your nine. You put in your three, and you put in your six. And uh, the hardest part of this whole entire project is literally yeah. finding the center of the clock. Right. But if you put this on a piece of white lined paper and then you just connect the corners, you make an X, and that's the center of your circle. So the easy non-measurement way of finding the center of it. Do that. Apply mm -hmm. your clock mechanism, and then we just kind of and it actually it on will top. work if you use the clock mechanism. It right? actually will work. That's very cool. I love that. I was just checking because it could just be art, people. <laughs>